Okay, so girls, today we're going to be learning how to add and subtract fractions. All right, but to do that, we're going to do an activity first. Okay, so between pairs, I'm going to give you one yellow sheet and one white sheet. Thank okay, you. you need to do a circle on each bit of sheet of paper. It needs to be a diameter of 16 centimeters. Okay, so that looks like this 16 centimeters. Everyone should know what a diameter is. Across. Can you put your pencil on? Okay. With the yellow bit of paper, I want you to divide it into eight equal sections. So how you do that is do quarters and quarters. Okay, girls, so what we're doing now is we're adding two sections of the yellow sheet onto the white sheet. Now, how would I write that as a fraction now? Yes, Eliza? Two over eight. Two over eight, good. Okay, so as a fraction, two over eight. Okay, so now I want you to add on another three bits of section to that. Now, how would I write three sections as a fraction? As a fraction, I'd write three over eight, and I'm adding them up, aren't I? So five over eight. Okay. So now we actually have five sections out of the eight. If I added the eight, two eights together, how many sections would I have? 16. Do I have 16 sections? No. no. So can we see now from that activity, if we are adding these together, we only add the two numerators. Yeah. Now we we'll use that activity, we're going to start to do things that are a bit more difficult. Okay? What if you had something like this? Okay, so with that, we don't have equal amount on the bottom, do we? No. no. Okay, so we need to make them equal. So the first step is to find the lowest common multiple. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to see what is happening with the denominator. So we can have this line that's equal to this line. Okay? So what's happened, what have we done to get from 4 to 12? Yes, Eliza? Times by 3. Times by 3. Now this is important to put in as you're working, okay? Because that what, is that what you do to the other? Yes. So here, if I'm times in 3 by 3, what do I get? 9. 9. 9. Okay, if I'm times in here, what am I doing? Okay, what am I doing to get to 12? Times by 4 and 2. Times by 2, good. Okay, so I need to do the same to the top. So I need to times by 2, what do I get? 2. 2. two. I'm glad you didn't get that wrong. Yeah. Okay, so 9 over 12 plus 2 over 12, can we now add them together? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. because we have the same denominator. Okay, Gemma, are you going to answer? 11 over 12. 11 over 12. Excellent. But can I simplify that anymore? No. No. Okay, we never leave a fraction that is not simplified. 